Have you ever made a dry, tough, or mushy pot roast? Well, today I'm going to show you how you can be the hero of your kitchen. Why this roast? Well, because it's very popular. It was even featured in the New York Times, but That's it's crazy. been on the internet a lot. Mm -hmm. So we thought, let's try it. And later, I'm gonna tell you why it's so popular. So stick around. Okay, so our first tip is choosing the right roast. You wanna choose one, if you look at this one, that has all this fat and marbling in it. And the reason why you want that is because that fat is gonna render down or melt down and it's gonna get into the meat and tenderize it and just make it, give it lots of flavor and make it so delicious. Now put gloves on, you see that? Because I don't like to really touch raw meat. It's not my thing. So tip number two is make sure you salt your meat. So we're gonna put some on here. And the reason why we salt it is to add flavor. And we do this in layers because if you wait to salt it at the very end, you will not get the flavorful meat that you need. And I'm just kind of patting it in there because I like to get it in there good. And then, don't forget Mr. Pepper. Gotta have him in there too. Actually, I think what I'm gonna do is put it in the pan and start searing this side and then salt and pepper the other side. So let's make sure that our pan is hot enough. So we're gonna turn that sucker up to high and then we're gonna put some um, oil in our pan. So let's try a little oil here. Oops, sorry, didn't mean to make that noise. We'll make sure we have enough oil to brown it good. Okay, so let's let that oil get hot. Maybe while this oil gets hot, we can talk about a few things. Okay, what are we talking about? I don't know, what do you wanna talk about? <laughs> See, we're very prepared roast. here. Oh, no, it's my <laughs> roast, is it? Well, as you can see, we're gonna put some carrots in this and some red potatoes and some pepperon. I cannot say that word right. I will try. Pepperon, pepper, I don't know, pepperoncinis. You know, these little peppers. You know what they are, right? <laughs> pepperoncini. There we go, pepperoncini. Say it, say it with me. Pepperoncini. Yay, we said it right. The chuck roast, or this particular roast, comes from the upper part of the cow, in the front where the shoulder is, and, and the neck. It comes from that part, sorry. My brain just froze there for a minute, it happens. I'm 52, what do you expect? <laughs> Not always gonna remember everything I'm supposed to. So anyway, that is the part of the cow that supports its weight and helps it move. So it's gonna be tough. And that again, that's why we need that marbling to help it tenderize it and the salt and give the flavors and all of that. We do this all together so we get really good flavor. Should we see if it's hot? Try it out. Pick that right on up. Put that salt and pepper side down. Oh, I hear some sizzling. I'm going to take this glove off because I really don't want to get juices in my salt. <laughs> that would not be good. Read it? I guess this is tip number... This was tip number two. It was salt and pepper. So tip number three is the browning. Make sure you brown it. You want it to brown. That will give it flavor and that nice brown golden coat that just makes it look so delicious. Okay, so let's look at that. Oh yeah, see that nice golden brownness there? Oh, it is ready to turn over. I'm just gonna grab me a pot holder because that handle's a little hot and I don't wanna risk. Oh, look at that. That meat's already, that fat's already starting to render down. Oh, uh, yep, that's what you want. That nice goldenness. Now we'll let it brown on the other side. 
You know, I was just remembering that um, my sister came to visit not too terribly long ago. And, you know, I made, we made pot roast, and she was like, why does your pot roast taste different than mine? Mine does not turn out this good. I remember that. And I asked her, I said, you know, did you uh, brown your meat before you put it in there, put it in the crock pot? And she's like, uh, no, I didn't know it was supposed to. And I said, well, next time try that. And you know what? She did. And she called me up and she said, you were absolutely right. It tasted so much better. It really works. So now we're just letting that brown on the other side get nice and golden like that. Oh, see how that is on that meat, right? On the fat part? It gives it even browner than the, it does on the meat. Oh, when that just dissolves in there. Oh, got much more flavor to add. Okay, well, the next tip we're going to have is deglazing the pan. We're not there yet because this is not brown on this other side like we want. Good, but it is looking good and we'll get to it. Okay, okay so now we are going to deglaze our pan. And this is tip number four. You want to make sure you deglaze it because all of that yumminess, you want that in there. Now I'm using water. You could use red wine vinegar or um, just a really good red wine, but this already has enough flavors that I don't want to overpower it. Because it has the pepper in here. So let's just do this now. It's probably gonna pop, so we have to be just a little careful. We're just kind of oh, man, that good. moving that around. Oh, look how it's getting all that yumminess off the bottom of the pan. Okay, so now I'm just gonna pick this up. I'm gonna pour it straight into here, right on top of that meat. Mmm, mmm. All that yummy deliciousness. Put it all in there. Hey, let's add one of our secrets. The secret we said that makes it taste so good. <sighs> Ranch dressing. Oh yeah. In the Valley of the Hidden. Yeah. And we're just gonna put those right in. This, you know, has the MSG in it. And that's where a lot of flavor comes from. So we're gonna put both these packets in here. Is that the secret from earlier? Oh yeah, this is our secret from earlier. I'm talking about the MSG. What is Sprinkle that? that over the top. What about the MSG? Oh, it's what gives it the flavor. It's why we go to fast food restaurants and stand in line for all that stuff. All that yummy, delicious MSG. Okay, and then we've also got um, some aju packets. We're gonna go ahead and do. Oh, my mistake. <laughs> That's our for later. Look, put that one over here. That's for our gravy. <laughs> one on you packet. See, gotta learn to pay attention. We'll sprinkle that on the top. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we've got a stick of butter we're gonna put in here. So let's go ahead and get this butter in. I'm just gonna move that over there for now. Let's put that right on top. There we go. Oh, wanted it. Nice and flat. And our pepperoni and cheese. We can't forget those. Get a little bit of spice and give it some more flavor. We're gonna just put those right in there with it. We've got about four. Um, you can do more if you want yours hotter. And if you want, you can put a little of the juice in there. But I think it just is a little too much. So I'm not gonna do that. And now we'll put our lid on. Okay, and uh, this is gonna be tip number five here. Now, as you see, I didn't put my vegetables in with the pot roast. And the reason I do that is I like to put it in about two hours into the cooking. Take out the meat, put in the vegetables, put the meat back on, put the lid back on, and let it go for another two hours after that, or two to four hours after that. That looks good. And after it's cooked and done, then we'll come back with our final tip that is just gonna elevate it. It's gonna make it perfect and your family's gonna love it. I guarantee it. Hey, welcome back. Our pot roast is done. So let's take it out and see what we have. 
take that lid off. Put that right, well, it's just going to slide off. Anyway, so ooh, can you see that? How good that looks? Let's just start taking that out. Now it's already falling apart. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Put that over here on our plate. Oh, there's a lot to this. <laughs> Mmm, doesn't that look delicious? Yum. Yum, yum. So we're just going to go ahead and take all this meat out. Just kind of... Shh. There's any extra liquid. You want to keep the liquid, so just shake it off in there. Look how much it fell apart. Now I'm going to take... and scoop out these vegetables. Mm -mm. Look at that there. Just so delicious. And once you get all these vegetables out of there, yeah, so notice that there's like this liquid in here. Mm, it's going to make a wonderful, wonderful gravy. I think we're spilling off the edge there. But hey, wasn't that what makes it look even better? <laughs> There's more potatoes in here than I thought. Look at that. It's already making a, its own perfect gravy. So there's a few more vegetables in here and a little bit of liquid. And now normally... I would take a brown gravy packet and mix that with this and make it a gravy, but this gravy is already looks so thick and just ready to go. You can just use it straight. Mm -hmm. So we're not gonna put any more vegetables out there, but we are gonna try this. So we're gonna take a little bit, oh look, look how that just flakes. It just flakes apart. It is so tender. Oh, let's just get some of that meat get to the vegetables in a minute but we just want to try that meat oh it is so good mmm 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 there's so much flavor in that and it's so delicious everybody will love it oh my gosh they're gonna want it every day of the week